What's up, YouTube? Welcome to Six Days. I am Bob Six. Today, I'm going to talk about successful YouTubers and maybe what I need to do to make my channel more successful. Uh, the channels I'm going to talk about before I get started, I'm not shitting on any of them because what they're doing is working. They are way more popular than me. So I'm not shitting on them. I'm just saying what I see going on and even though I don't think I want to be like any of them as far as the way they shoot their videos and do things, I would love to be that successful. So that's what I'm going to talk about. First, I'm going to talk about um, funnel vision. Wait, before I do that, I'm constantly researching on how to increase your viewers and your subscribers and be, become more popular and be successful. And one of them, they say to always shoot stationary in the same place and all that stuff. And that's not working for me. And what I do see this working are the channels my granddaughter watches, which are Funnel Vision, which I love that one. And I'll explain why in a minute. I know I've done a whole video on them before, but I do have some new followers or subscribers, so I'll reiterate on that one. Uh, she watches this Share, uh, Share the Love. The guy's name is Steven Share, and then his brother has a channel, and they have a friend that has a channel that's spun off in there. They're all successful, but Steven Share is the one that started it, and he's wildly popular. And then one called Daily Bumps. Uh, it started out as one thing, but now it's morphed into almost like they watch the sharers videos and copy them. But all of them just walk around with their cameras all around wherever they're at doing it. So I think I would rather do that. I think better when I'm walking anyways. I actually think better in the shower, but I'm not shooting these videos in the shower. Uh, but I haven't actually checked the dates to see when, however, they do kind of coincide with what we've been watching. Uh, the sharers said they had a pawn monster. Uh, let me point out, none of these people are good actors. I can always spot when they're doing phony stuff. Uh, like they did a pawn monster, <laughs> a bunch of videos about pawn monster, and people kept tuning back in, and my granddaughter was hooked into it for a little while. But So I, I did a little research, and yes, some people had released some alligators in that area, so yeah, it could have been an alligator in their pond. However, they do have a very realistic fake alligator head on their property because they actually do a video where their sister is pranking Stephen Cher by, and puts it in the pond, and he finds it and acts all scared. No, oh, you got me. Their pranks are just... Again, I'm not shitting on the channel because it's it's good. They're not doing bad things. It's kind of fun. I understand the appeal that kids have, but as an adult, I'm watching going, that's fake, and that's fake, and that's horrible. But anyways, when they do catch the alligator, there's an alligator in this fenced-off area, and they said that they caught it in a trap. Well, it's completely fenced off. There was no trap set up, so I'm pretty sure they've got the money. They just hired these three experts they had come handle the alligator, which there wouldn't be any in that area because there's no alligators in that area. I'm pretty sure those guys brought the gator and then they had to handle it and get rid of it. So, But it worked. So again, I'm not shitting on them, but I can't afford to have somebody come put an alligator in my backyard. I mean, I'm surprised. I guess I'd have to call it a pool, pool monster and put it in my granddaughter's swimming pool. But daily bumps... They mentioned Pond Monster a few times, and they have a big swimming pool, but I don't really remember where that went. But I was like, oh, wow, that's verbatim the same thing that they're saying. Uh, the sharers found the safe in their pond and spent many videos breaking into it. Now, they've got it open, and, oh, they had to call the cops and all this stuff because of what they found, but they're such bad actors, I think it's all fake, but again, it's working, so I'm not shitting on them. I'm trying to set up the premise of my subject here, or my topic. Uh, Daily Bumps, they found the safe on their property, and they have been doing videos trying to break into the safe. 
Again, it's working, so I'm not shitting on any of them. I don't want to do any fake, phony shit like that. I try to be real, which is why I don't censor myself. I'm not beeping myself out. I do tone the language down a little bit more because I am really foul mouth. My friends who know me in real life know it's just how I talk. I've literally talked that way my entire life. I've talked that way so much that my mother accepts the way I talk. It, it is what it is. It's, it's just it's who I am. So I'm not coming on here to be phony. My opinions, I don't give opinions to try to upset people. They're genuinely how I feel, what I think. I mentioned Funnel Vision, and the reason I really like that channel, I don't agree with everything they do. I don't like all their videos. But Funnel Vision, oh, and when they do skits, it's just the family doing skits. They do some music videos, which I've liked most of them. But it's a family being a family. And they're, oddly enough, they're the ones that come under the most attack. They were, YouTube was literally stopping some of their videos. And I don't see why. Now, I heard, I heard and have read a lot of the complaints against them. It's not their fault. They're a family. If I could provide for my family the way they can provide for theirs, I would. And just like them, one of the complaints was, well, they're children. They don't ever discipline their children. They do, but they don't do it on camera. I wouldn't either. And if you disciplined your child on camera, you're a piece of shit. Especially if you posted it on YouTube for the entire world to see. That's not cool at all. That's not even being good parenting. You should be the one getting in trouble. Not them. You can tell their videos are not one constant shoot. See, my videos are one constant shoot. There's no or continuous shoot. There's no editing. I purposely do that. I'm trying to be realistic. And if I mess up and say something wrong, which I do, and that's how I know a lot of people watch the entire video all the time because I purposely will say something wrong to say something or comment just to stir up some interest. Hasn't happened yet. But, because everybody that knows me knows I'm a huge nerd. I'm constantly reading. I, I love trivia and history. So, I know my facts. Uh, that doesn't mean I'm never wrong. Just, I'm fairly sure of anything I say on here. So, if I say something wrong, it was on purpose to see if anybody catches it. Um, but Funnel Vision, that, that's my favorite thing about it, is it's just a family being a family. And I'm all about family. So, that that's... I dig that. But again, they just walk around and they don't do a bunch of phony stuff. They're little skits. They're, it's obviously a skit. They're acting. They did do one thing that got them in some, some trouble, but <laughs> they did that. I'm not justifying it. They did that because a lot of people were complaining, saying what bad actors they are. So they showed you they can act. Everybody fell for it, hook, line, and sinker. And they felt bad about it and had to do it. They shot out an apology and all that stuff. So, I would, I want my channel to grow and become more popular, but I'm not willing to be phony. So, I'm going to keep doing this until I run out of subscribers. Uh, I did upset somebody here a while back and lost a subscriber, but I gained two. So, hey, welcome to the, you two new people. I appreciate you. Uh, but I need some input. I know a lot of times I say, well, I don't care what you think. What I mean is I don't care what you think about what I think or how I feel or what I believe because it's not going to change who I am. I do care about what you think and you feel and you believe. That's why I always ask for comments. I want to know. I like to hear other people's opinions and stuff. It's not going to change who I am. Just like what I say shouldn't change who you are. It should be food for thought. If some of you says something that I think, hey, I really dig that and I can implement that into my life and become a better person towards the, becoming the person that I want to be, then I would implement it. But I need comments. I need feedback. I also want to know, what direction do you want me to take this? Again, I'm not willing to be phony. There's a guy named, I think it's Emery King or Emery King. I really dug this dude and he's a lot like me, just a little meaner, was wildly popular. And so I watched his stuff all the time. But... The last couple of videos, 
I just want to say he changed. I don't want to shit on the guy because, I mean, he's still way more popular than me. But he's changed. I couldn't make it through the last couple of videos. Just it seemed really yeah, sad. But, uh, so I may start walking around doing these. And right now here in Texas, it's so damn hot. But I may just start walking around my house until it cools off a little. But give me some feedback. Again, I'm not willing to be phony, so don't, you know, I'm not going to do a strip tease while I do these. I'm not going to shoot them while I'm in the shower, which is where I do my best thinking. Uh, I'm not going to do silly shit like that, but I'm willing to do what it takes to appeal to more people. I'm not going to stop cussing or beeping it out. It's real life. You encounter that every day in real life. If you don't encounter people cussing in real life, you live a very sheltered life and you probably don't watch my videos. I should say those people probably don't watch my videos because those of you that are watching obviously can get past it. So uh, I need some comments, some feedback. Don't be afraid. If you're afraid to post it because you're afraid to be intact and because that does happen and I know that keeps people from saying things, send me a message. I'm easy to find. I'm on Instagram, Twitter, uh, here, uh, Facebook, Snapchat, which I'm thinking about dropping the Snapchat because it's really getting kind of boring. I'm really only interact with two people and it's almost down to one on a regular basis. My cousin sends me snaps, so we interact a lot, but it's kind of gotten a little boring. So I may be dropping that one here pretty soon. But I need some input. Tell me what you want to see. Uh, something that may appeal to you more. I'm not going to change who I am, but I may ch change the way I do the videos. Uh, like I said, here in the near future, I may just start walking around shooting them. Uh, maybe find some interesting places. But I do want your input. I really appreciate those of you that take the time to watch these. Uh, those of you that are in Alaska and Canada and I think I had a viewer in Ireland. Uh, anyways, I really appreciate the people that take the time to watch this. I, I really want your input. I do want to know what you think. So leave a comment below or contact me somehow and let me know what you think as far as what you want to hear. Oh, and did I always say the music thing? Next week I'm going to cover music. I, I tried to cover it on Riding with Six the other day, which thank the eight of you that have watched it. Uh, I should have known I couldn't really prove my point or cover it well enough in six minutes and 33 seconds. So next Tuesday, I will do a full episode of six days on music. But let me know what you think. If you like this, hit that like button. <laughs> I don't know why I always say that because not really a lot of people smashing that like button. I even offered to give away a pin. I'll tell you what, if you're here now, if this video gets 20 likes, leave comments. Is, you can leave a comment as simple as, I liked it. If it hits 20 likes, I will pick one person and I will send them a pin. Absolutely free, no charge. So, again, I do appreciate those of you that watch. I really appreciate those of you that subscribe. Let me hear from you, man. If you know somebody that might dig this stuff, tell them so they can subscribe. Until next time, I hope you all have a great day. Make someone laugh if you get the chance because the world needs it. I am Bob Six. Peace.